Good afternoon, everybody. I hope um, you have had a good weekend. It is the start of the week. It's Monday, the 6th of February. We're already into the second month of the year. My name is Mary Gregory. I am a leadership coach and facilitator and author of the book, um, Ego, Get Over Yourself and Lead, which is all about how we manage ourselves as leaders. So I thought I'd start off these broadcasts in January and take them through um, the year. So I'm going to do them every Monday, Magic Mondays or Monday Magic, however you want to call it, just as a way of starting our week in a good way, in a positive way. Um, and last week we were talking um, about the connection you have with yourself and the um, support you have for yourself and how that can actually really help pick you up when you're faced with any challenges as you go through your week or you've woken up your inner critic um, and the gremlins are having a go. How can connecting with your um, support group, your network, the people that have got your back really help you with that? And so I was inviting you to notice that and to think about how you keep connecting with people um, as and when. And also, you know, providing support to them as they need it, too. So I hope you got on with that well last week. Um I think for me, something I've started today, which I want to share about, which is also thinking about the lens that we look at the world through. Um, and the reason I've tuned into that today is that today is day one for me of the listening challenge. I've signed up for the listening challenge, which is run by Jane Adstead Grant, the listening coach, very pleased to be part of her group for the next 21 days. We are focusing specific on specifically on listening. And the first thing that we're looking at is what we filter for. So thinking about what is the lens that you look at the world through? And that got me thinking about it's so easy to uh, focus on something and make a decision about it. And then we become fixed in our thinking. And that is the decision that we make. And that is the end of it sort of thing. But actually, we may see something, we may make something true about it. But there are always going to be many truths to any situation. So by changing the lens that we're looking at something through, um, we can change the way we see it. And we can change the truth that we hold about that situation. And as part of um, looking at this, um, I watched a, a really great TED talk by um, a, a gentleman called Jewett Jones, who used to be a photographer for National Geographic magazine. And he talks about how being a photographer for that magazine really opened up his eyes to the many, not just to the many wonders of the world, but also to the possibilities of the world. And if you think about it, um, what often happens for us whenever we're trying to endeavour or anything or step up and lead is our egos kick in and our ego is always fear based. So we're always coming from that place of, oh, what if? And oh, my goodness, this isn't how I expected it to be. Um, uh, I'm, you know, things are all going to go horribly wrong for us. Whatever it is, we might think that way. All of that is our ego talking, which causes us to act and behave in ways that may not be helpful. For example, we step out our comfort zone. Oh, it's very really scary. Ego wakes up. So we step back into our comfort zone and we don't make the progress that we wish to make as leaders in the world. And we don't have the impact that we wish to have. So he talks about the fact that, you know, there isn't just one great shot. You know, he takes a great shot and that is amazing, but that is not the only great shot of that particular object or that particular subject there are hundreds and thousands of possibilities. And actually, that is a wonderful metaphor for us as we go through life. So if you think about being stuck or challenged by something, you know, you might want to make a difference. You might want to try something differently for yourself, maybe listen differently in a meeting, for example, or get your voice heard in that meeting. And it might not go according to how you might have wanted it to be. But that doesn't mean that's the end of it. That was just one shot that you had. There are many, many millions of shots that you can take in life. And just because it might not have happened on one occasion doesn't mean it's not going to happen on others. But also, I'm conscious he was talking more about making a shot that makes a difference. And wow, isn't that just a wonderful shot? But there are also hundreds and hundreds of wonderful shots out there. And 
you know, someone else might have stolen your thunder, might have cracked the problem or had the impact that you wanted to have. But that doesn't mean that you can't have an impact in your own way by giving it a go from your perspective as well. So that was kind of my thinking for today is thinking about how are you focusing on the world? How are you looking at the challenges and the situations that you're facing as you go through the week? And is there another way you could look at those situations um, that would help you feel more empowered, maybe less stuck if it's a situation you're feeling stuck in? How could you approach it differently? What is a different truth that you could consider when you look at that situation for yourself? And um, think about as you go into the week, your intention linked to being open to the possibilities that might present themselves in the week. And notice when your ego gets kicked in and you're starting to feel fearful, remember to step back, take that breath, reconnect and consider the other possibilities, the other truths that are out there, because there's never just one shot. There are hundreds of thousands of shots and each of those could be a winning formula for you and a winning shot for you. So take a think about that and uh Pop in, the, pop in the chat how you get on as the week progresses. Enjoy your week. Um, make sure you stay open to those possibilities. Do you think the different angles that you can look at a situation from? And I will see you next Monday. And before I go, I'm just going to mention um, that I have my leadership live coming up on the 16th of February at 1.15 p.m. If you'd care to join me there, we'd love to see you. We're going to look more at ego this month. We're going to look at how ego either contributes to our success or can sabotage our success. So a great one for exploring and understanding more. I look forward to seeing you then. I will leave links in the chat for Dewitt Jones's TED Talk, for Jane Ashstead Grant's uh, Leadership Listening Challenge, if you're interested in that, and also for my event, my leadership live event, which is coming up on the 16th of February. See you next Monday. It's been great sharing with you this morning. Bye for now.